Well, a sad day for the Mid-South as they say goodbye to rock and roll turned country legend Jerry Lee Lewis. Hundreds of people gathered at the Hernando Funeral Home today to pay their respects to the star and his family. And for many of them, they weren't just saying goodbye to a world-known entertainer. They were saying goodbye to a friend. WRG's Ashley Paul joins us live from outside Sun Studios tonight with more on today's visitation. Ashley? Yeah, Stephanie. Well, unlike the rest of the world mourning Jerry Lee Lewis's death, people at today's visitation knew the killer personally, including people right here at Sun Studios, where Jerry Lee recorded some of his first and most famous hits. A bittersweet day. It's a sad day, but it's, it's not a sad day to you. As Memphis says goodbye to one of its biggest legends. Jerry Lee! A line through the parking lot shows just how much Jerry Lee Lewis means to the Mid-South. It's much deserved. I think there's going to be a lot more people here than uh, anybody ever thought. Jerry Phillips, son of Sam Phillips, who founded Sun Studio, remembers growing up with Jerry Lee hanging out at his house, playing the piano in his living room. One of the greatest talents in music is he has left the planet, but he, 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 and the earth won't be the same. He says Jerry Lee is a man worth celebrating. He's just been a great great friend, a great person to know. Uh, proud to say I've known him that long and uh, you know, he, he was always really a wonderful person. The same is said for others waiting in line here today. At my door. We had played together for long years, many years. And he was a great guy, the world, world known. And he's just like the guy down at the gas station. He's a good guy. Richard Ray and Gene O'Neill knew Jerry Lee for more than 50 years. They say they loved him. There was no one else like him. And he will leave a lasting impact on Memphis and on the world. It's amazing. It uh, makes a smaller world. He, he was anywhere he was known, any stage. He's been on them all. He's done his thing. He's proved to the world that he was the greatest, and he was. And while everybody at today's visitation had a different way of knowing Jerry Lee, they all agree that the world lost one of the greatest. Now, Jerry Lee will head to Louisiana, his birthplace, for his final resting place, where he will be buried on Saturday. For now, reporting live at Sun Studios, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.